Hello everybody and welcome to this playthrough of Motorsport Manager 2016 on the PC. This is part 10. It is uh, the last race of the season, the 10th race of the season. So it is the season finale, if you will, of the first season. We are in the Black Sea, so we've got the Russian Grand Prix coming up. We did previously do the Russian Grand Prix, although it was a shorter track, but with more laps, which we did... So we didn't struggle too much for our team. That was when the car was at its absolute worst. Since then we've improved the engine which seems to have done us a bit of good in getting a few decent results. We finished second, second, second and second again. And then last time out in Milan we had both cars finish inside the top 10, 5th and 10th. Which did manage to drag us off the bottom of the table. We are now currently sitting pretty in 6th place heading into the final race. Santorana is in 11th and Latinum is in 15th. Having caught up to Santorana, she's actually done quite a lot better this season because she's only 5 points behind, yet she wasn't racing for us for the first 2 races of the season. So if she was, she would probably be above Santorana, which is uh, quite an achievement really. All the sponsors, we've got a couple of sponsors running out of this race, we've got 4 sponsors running out after this race. So, did any of those give us any upfront money last time? Yeah, we, so we should get some upfront money as well when we sign some new sponsors up. Obviously, if we can stay higher up, hopefully we do get a bit more sponsorship money than uh, if we finish in last place. I'm not sure what the tiers are for moving on up. But anyway, we've got some spare money because we should hopefully be finishing ninth or higher because we have done for the last couple of races so we can go ahead and go for this sponsor when we do race and it will give us an extra 450,000 so we will be getting the 1.3 million that we usually get as always we are still putting a million pound away for next year's car so hopefully we can get the money you put away comes to this but I doubt we're going to get anywhere close to 4 stars on anything next year but I think we're going to go ahead and spend some money because um, some stuff does carry over to the next season I think this is rated an 81 at its base spec, we've upgraded it to 93. So hopefully some of this stuff carries over, I ho I've heard it does. But we're going to risk it anyway because this is the only thing we haven't upgraded. We're gonna, so just so we can get, just so we're not too far behind when next season starts. We're going to go ahead and build this, we're not going to do any work on it, we're not going to use it in the race. Or could we use it in the race? Maybe if we get the reliability up. We could use it in the race, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and build that. We've done 15 days before the race, and it might just give us a chance to do another part. The only other part we haven't upgraded this season is the brakes, which was lucky for us, really, because next season, as we voted on last time, we are moving to spec brakes, which means everyone will get the same part rated 150. Well, I guess it's going to be rated 150, like the front wing and the rear wing. So yeah, we just got some work to do on the sus suspension. And then if we do have the time before the next race, I might just build. Depending on how much it improves over this. Another gearbox. And then hopefully that some of that some of those stats will carry forward to the next season as well. Next season as well. But anyway, we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and get this car repaired. We'll move on. Car repair finished. We'll move on until the uh, suspension is built. And we do have a lot of uh, spare room in the design centre. So once that's built, we can go ahead and get the reliability. Reliability? Oh, this cold is still kicking me down. Reliability up. So, we're going to go ahead and try and improve this, and hopefully, we can get it done for the next race. Um, yeah, it's just that that we need, isn't it? 12 days. So we're going to see how much we can get that up. Because we can put it in Santa Ana's car because she does have the boost that means that the car parts don't wear too quickly. We are actually in the red, but I'm sure the chairman will let us spend some money. So we're going to go ahead and have a look what we can build. We don't want stuff that says, um, although none of these say, this is 20... Plus 20 to max because I don't think that's the thing that carries over. It's this baseline number here that carries over. So 61, is that right? 
No, we did go with a riskier engine last time, didn't we? Because that's the part that Santa Ana has got, that's her risky part. So we can go with plus 25. We'll boost that to 106, which is quite a bit of a better engine. What would the gearbox be if we built this? We could go 20, 30, so 68. I'm not quite sure what the base part was on this one, because we have upgraded that at some point. Must have been around about 40, I would guess. But should we go? That's just to max, that's to 25. This one's a risk level. So I was told the risk level as well doesn't carry over. So whilst it's risky this season, it won't be risky next season. So that is a base of 68. Should I spend the money? Should I spend the money, or should I spend the money on an engine? So basically, I have an engine that's rated 111 for next season to start off with, and then we could uh, we can work on the gearbox next season. Then it can cost us a bit of money, but we've got should have a lot of prize money. Yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll take a massive risk and we will build it and hope it does carry forward. So fingers crossed everybody and it does carry forward. Hopefully I haven't just made a huge mistake in doing that. Hopefully not. HQ upgrade. Look at that. Oh no, this is for I thought we'd finished. There's still quite a few weeks until that's finished. I thought we'd finish building the factory then. Promise made HQ upgrade. Can you promise me that we'll improve our scouting facility? Well, I can promise you that, but how long will it give us to promise it? Because if I do upgrade the scouting facility, it's only going to be to replace you. I can't promise that because there's no way I'm done. I'm not sure on whether we're going to look for a new driver next season just yet. We're going to go ahead and go to the black sea now. I think this is our race. Dembele is looking her way out from ZRT. What is she rated? She's quite old, so I'm not going to bother even looking at her. Because I'm not sure whether we're going to look at replacing Lassie in the next season. She's a pay driver. Uh, she does bring in just over £100,000 per race. We'll see soon. Uh, contracts up next season. I'm not. We might just renew that one because we don't use a reserve driver. Oh, we'll just see if we can get anyone cheaper to go in the reserve seat. Drivers. We're now rated ninth for drivers. So who's improved there? Someone's improved. No one. Not too much. A little bit. Latinen's improved. Maybe. I'm gonna go ahead in this one. We never pick that one. Everyone, right. Let's go ahead and see if that. That new suspension part got. I did get the reliability, reliability up quite a bit, so we're going to go ahead and use that. It's not that much better than this one yet, but we did upgrade that from about 12, I think. It was rated when we started, so hopefully, if this carries through to 46, we're starting off from a better point than we started off this season. Basically, everything's just testing for this season, see how things work as we move across from season to season. I'm expecting the reliability to totally drop off. I'm going to start from scratch with getting everything up to scratch again during the first two, three races before we concentrate on building. Well, we will probably build some new parts to begin with, but before we concentrate on improving the performance on those parts. So, anyway, we're here at practice. I've got my notes from the setup we used last time at the Black Sea, obviously the tracks changed so maybe this setup won't work too well this time round but we'll go ahead and test it out to start with and see what sort of feedback we get from both drivers both I think we should be having more acceleration around this track now we'll go ahead and test it like that because that's I think we got over 90% with her using this Last time and all that's been added, added is this one corner here. But maybe it's because we slow down quite a lot for that corner that there won't more acceleration. 
So whilst I do want that, we'll probably keep it down there. We'll keep, we'll keep it. We'll keep hers like that to see what it's like, and then we'll run Latinum with the same set that we used last time round here. Although she hasn't actually been round here, we did have Evans in the car last time, and I think he ended up getting lapped in this race, which I think is the only time we've been lapped because he was such a terrible driver, rated one star and had under five for most of these things. She'll run them both, I mean, we'll run her on a softer start, we'll see what sort of time she can get. Was she unhappy with that? No, she thinks the speed bounce should be around here, so she might be happy with that. We'll go ahead and confirm them all and get this practice over and done with and see what they both say with this setup that we've come up with. Not that we've come up with, because we used it last time. Let's we'll see if she's happy with that, even though she's still not happy with that speed balance, while well, the mechanic's not happy with that. We'll see what sort of rating she can get. And we'll send Latin and out as well. So, let's see which one of these can set a better lap. Although, that doesn't really matter in practice, because one of them's going to get held up, or both of them are going to get held up on this lap. Latinin should go quicker because she's on the soft tyre, but then again Santa Anna's in front of her, so she's going to get held up by Santa Anna. There's too much wrong in the car, handling feels too soft at the moment. So maybe there is a big change in the setup requirements between this track just because of that one corner being added. I don't know. But we'll see what they say after this. I think Latinin's going quicker at the moment, but She's stuck behind these couple of cars. Yeah, and she's dropped way off there, as we can see. She's like 9 seconds off the pace at the moment. And 8 seconds off the pace. I think that's because they got held up a lot. And they're both unhappy with the downforce as well. So yeah, the addition of just this one corner has probably changed the setup requirements quite a bit. So... It's not burning too well for the race here, is it? I want a good result from this race because... Right, so she's very unhappy with the speed balance. Right, and so we're going to have to drop... Uh, no, she's only happy at that part, oh, jeez. Oh, will you mole? Oh, will you mole? We need to get this up into the high 80s, so what do they want from the car? I'm not even sure what they actually want. They we want more handling, more acceleration, more oversteering, yep, yeah, we'll try that. Just basically got to guess what they want at this point. I'm not sure one track, one corner would change the track so much. She was happy with the speed balance, not the speed balance, the handling, so we're going to try to drop that down without changing the handling too much. I'll we'll drop a few of these to try to get that handling back at that point. Maybe she wants more downforce, we'll try more downforce. And one of that to get that back to there. Right, we'll try that. We'll put her on a new pair of softs because we have tons of... We have enough uh, tyres to go out on a new set each time we go out here. So we're going to have them push on this lap. How far away off the pace. But we did get held up quite a bit on that lap. Equal with that because he must have get held up. But we're 10 seconds behind the leader off the first lap, aren't we? So that's 10 seconds down on pace. So hopefully that is not the actual distance that we're off the pace by. Hopefully that's just an, an anom anomaly because we got held up. I'm going to go ahead and have a push as we go around here. Yeah, we'll have a push. And we're going to have Latin and push as well because it looks like we've got a bit of clear track. So let's go ahead and see what she can do here. Zoom back in. I'm going to be able to get the one level race trim though. No, you use it. We don't get much time to how much feedback to fill up any of these whatever we've done to the downforce I don't think it's helping but she's not far off the pace off that first off that first little bit she's not far off the pace he's actually doing quite decent though down two seconds now 
we'll see how she comes in for this. Up into six off that, off that setup. Wow. That's actually amazing. I'm quite surprised that about that. And Latinan's down here, even though she supposedly had the better setup. She's complaining about most things about the setup, but she's managed to get quite a decent lap in there, getting into sixth place. She's happy with the aero setup. I'm actually really happy with that. None of these light like, times have been held up or anything like that. See, she was really unhappy with that, but yet she managed to get in a lap time of 129.812, whereas Latinum was really happy with her setup and wasn't held up on her practice lap either. And only managed on 131. So I'm actually quite confused with that. Probably why she managed to get such a good a good lap time with that setup. So I'm actually now quite tempted to run her in that, even though she's not happy with it. Quite um, tempted to run her with that setup during the race. All of these cars coming round for this. Who is this? Dreyfus. Can't remember which car she's in. Come on, hurry up. Need to get to the race. Yeah, so as I was saying, let's have a quick look. She did finish in seven. Three seconds behind the leader, but that's to be expected as most of the other cars are just like that as well. Hope it's going to stay clear today. It looks like there's going to be no rain. I think the first race in Russia was a wet race. Well, she's got this risk take uh, stat now. She, uh, she's built up a relationship with a mechanic enough to get this risk taker stat, which means the selecting the fast pit stop has the same risk as a standard pit stop. So we'll go ahead and do that because that could save, uh, if we're going to go for two stops, that'll give her an extra four seconds during the race. She could come in handy. So what did she say about that? 69% for this one. We're going to go ahead and stick with it. We're a little bit risky and we won't change anything about that. We're going to go out on the sauce. We're going to go out on full fuel. She was ha really happy with that setup at 97%. And that makes me tempted to change Santa Ana's now. So what was different? Well, we've just got more... These are pretty much the same as she's got... No, we're going to keep it like that. And we're going to keep her, we're going to put her on the softs and full fuel. Driver strategy. We're not going to try any sort of risky one stop strategy with this one. We're going to run it. Have both of them push and see if we can get both cars inside the top 10 again. And obviously, we're aiming to get one, nine, or above. So then, here we go with this race. But we don't have one on the front of the grid this time because both of them have moved up the table. Latinin is starting in 6th and Anna is starting in 10th. So it's going to be hard for us to stay at the front since we're starting a bit further behind on the grid today. Basically much of our good fortune comes from starting at the front of the grid and being able to hold on to those positions. So hopefully we can... Santa Anna has moved up in 10th, uh, dropped down to 9th already. She's doing quite well holding this position. They're doing both quite well here. Latin is managing to hold on to six. Everyone else still pushing along with us. Yes, they are. Santa Ana's dropping down the field here. She's got caught out a few times. Up into 12th. <clears throat> We're both dropping there. They're both dropping down the field a bit here. Hopefully we don't drop down too much so we can sort of stay pretty tight. And she just locked up there, didn't she? She's just really locked up on that lap. So we're going to have to turn her down. Although she can still keep pushing the fuel because she's going to have to come in and pit soon. We'll try to have a conserve these tyres because I don't want to come in just yet. Center Anna running in 11th. It's quite tight down here. Center Anna's been run out on this straight, but she keeps that position as does Latin and going into that corner. We're gonna have we're gonna have to turn her down a bit now. And she's dropped a place. 
And hopefully we can get ninth or above just to get that four hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Oh, she's locked up again. We're both locking up on this track. So these soft tyres don't seem to be doing much at all. So we're gonna have to come in for a pair of mediums. We're gonna have to do that. And she's conserving. She's gonna have to come in as well. So we might have to double stack on this pit stop. How far behind is Santorana? Four seconds. Oh, we're going to have to hope she can get round another lap, aren't we? But she can do this. Should we bring in in for more mediums or should we try and let her run on a pair of soft tyres? Because the mediums are quite a bit slower. I'm going to have her run on a pair of softs again, but we won't push the tyres too much. And see, look, she can go for this fast pit stop now. Just take two seconds off, so hopefully she can come out ahead of a few of here. Was that a crash? Yeah, someone just crashed back there. Someone just flew into the wall back here. Who was it? These two just ran each other off the road. So that's worked out in Latinan's favour, hasn't it? So we can turn her down now. It's worked out in her favour because she just pitted. Just made that pit stop, so... Yeah, she's still coming in on this slap. But there is a safety car out now. Turn her down. So another race where the safety car has come out. I think most of the races, especially I remember the last race, we had a safety car which worked in our favour. And this one looks like it could do as well. So Latinan's coming into the pits. She had a bad pit stop, but she still managed to do it in seven and a half seconds. Where's the safety car? So he's got to come around for another lap, so... Where's she running 16th? Running 16th, she's running 7th. I'm sort of tempted to put Film Center on his fuel tank up again. And maybe put her on the soft tires. Where is she? She's not come round yet, has she? Should we take a huge risk and go for that? We don't need to go for a fast pit stop. She's only going to lose two places doing this, but she will have fresher tyres and more fuel. Let's see if that risk pays off in the end. I should really turn the, her down. Put her back into neutral so she gets some heat in these tyres before the restart. The safety car is coming in this lap. Move around. What camera angle is better? Probably this one. So both of these cars should just have one more stop to do before the end of the race. And Santa Ana's tyres are holding up quite well. She's got better tyres than most of the ones on the soft. So hopefully that works in her favour. And we're starting back up now, so we're going to have them both push. Only for a little bit because last time they pushed on this track they both made a mess of the tyres pretty quickly. So let's just see if they can hold on to this to the places. Let's keep a look at Santa Ana. See if she can um, see if she can pick up some places now that she's got fresher tyres than most of the other cars around her. And look, these soft tyres they go through them pretty quick, don't they? So I'm gonna have to turn them down. So we do want to try and go pretty long and have another pair of softs on. And we're out of... Still inside the top 10. Oh, Latin is back up into 9th before we lost 9th place. And could she push for 8th? And look at that Garuda steaming around the outside. The best car in this competition who shouldn't be with us next year because they should be getting promoted. So we're still running 9th place and Santa Ana's moving up the field a bit here nicely. 
I'm going to have to turn Latin and down a bit because she's running out of fuel. But I want her to go a few more laps so then she can put some more fuel in and push to the end of the race. Santa Rana's in a group, moves up to 14th. She got the run on one of these cars down to the corner, tries to go around the outside, and she pumps it off easily there, 13th place. And she's really struggling with the tyre wear already. These tyres just. We're going to have to go for a pair of mediums to finish the racing, aren't we? Just enough fuel to finish. So we're going to have to go into conserve mode on these tyres. The same with Santa Rana. Because we don't want them to stack in the pit. There's Santa Rana now. Can she catch up? Latin has fallen off because her tyres have fallen. Fallen off. We might have to double stack them in the pits just because of the state of the tyres. Unfortunately that's something we're going to have to do. That's totally my fault Santa Rana. Everyone's coming into the pits. Latinen's in first. She's out. Double stacked a tiny bit there, and there's a mistake on her fueling. Have either of them got excess fuel? I don't think so, so we're going to have to go medium, 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 medium. Hopefully, we can pick up some places now as other cars are still got to pit. It's been a bad race strategy wise this one just because those soft tyres were so quick wearing absolutely shocking how fast those quick those soft tyres ran out so we're running 12th and 18th, 18th being last place in this race at the moment so hopefully we do have some excess fuel so we might be able to start pushing in a lap or two Hopefully Latinen can hold on to this. There's a couple, I think everyone's made the pit stops now. We're going to go ahead and have them push. Just because we need the points and could do with keeping as many positions as we can. Latin is falling down the order quite rapidly again. So a lot of these soft tyres, if they're anything like our soft tyres, should drop off before the end of the race. So we might be able to pick up a few. Just before the end, neither of them have got excess fuel again now, so we're going to have to keep running like this till the end, I think. We'll keep an eye on Latinum because Santa Ana is dropping off. We're both dropping off, so... There's something about this Russian race that... doesn't suit our car, or I think it's because of the tyre wear. I think these tyres are going to last till the end, so we can have them push on these a little bit, I think. There's no worry about these giving way. I'm just going to have to hope that maybe like Mello's tyres give way. Might be able to pick up another position. However, some of the cars like this one, he's got some parts that are wearing out. But we're dropping. Are we gaining? No, we're gaining now on, on Mello in front. I wonder if we can catch him before the end of the race. We're on the last lap. Let's go ahead and push because we've got some fuel. Let's go ahead and do that. Coming round to the finish. No, it's going to be 15th and 18th today. No, we've actually got a lap left. Oh my god. Totally mess up. <laughs> We're now running on low fuel. <laughs> oh my god. Total mismanagement on this race. Absolutely shocking. Has she got enough to get through to the end of the race? We're going to have to turn this engine down. Come on, no, she says she's got excess fuel now. No, uh, well, we did actually manage to pass Mello as well as I was looking at the timings. And Santa Rana got off last place as well. Uh, up into 15th at the end there. Past a couple of cars that must have been uh, struggling towards the end there. So I'm not sure what that's going to be like for us in terms of keeping our sixth spot. As up here as the RTs finished first, so. Uh, and an Eastwood. Was an Eastwood behind us? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, I think we're going to drop down to about 8th in the Constructors Championship, which isn't too bad a result at the end of the season. Obviously, it's not like the 6th that we climbed up to at the end of the last uh, race. There's always a risk of those being found out. No rules broken. A couple drop down. She dropped down. 
So where could we finish in the constructors? Eighth place. Unlucky. A few of these must have done uh, pretty well. Obviously, the ZRT did by winning the race. Octane must have finished pretty high up in that race. To get back past us, did it? Where did the Octane finish? That's not the race results. Uh, not that much further above us, but what is this one? Oh, it's because it's double points for the last race, isn't it? Double points, that's what's... There's double points in the last race, that's what's done us in there. But anyway, we finished 8th in, in the season. That's a pretty good result, considering that we've got the absolute worst car. A car compared to a lawnmower by most. Compared to a lawnmower by the drivers. A car they absolutely hate driving. We had some good results in that season. I think we finished with four podiums, did we? Which isn't too bad. Expected result 10th. We came 10th. Yeah, that's just for that race, not for the overall season. We didn't hit our target this time. Which is unfortunate. So we're still in the red. Garuda won the Drivers' Championship. And Jar crashed. Uh, Jar finished because uh, I'm not sure how close it was between him and Buchamp. Not that close because he, he he's one of the ones that crashed out in that race. So they got 13 million for finishing first. I don't know what we're going to end up with. Prize money wise. I wonder if we do get it anytime soon. Car condition update. And they did quite well. We're dropping 19%. We'll go ahead and skip ahead and see if we can get. See what sort of prize money we're going to get for next season. And then I think for this season anyway, I mean, I think that's the engine being finished. So prize money, receive prize money, 11 million. So I don't think there's much difference between that and bottom place. So it seems like everyone sort of gets a similar payout in this uh, series. There's no bias towards the top team getting a lot more money. But anyway, we've got we've now got 10 million in the bank. Manager of the season, Darcy White from ZRT. Driver of the season, Edda from Eastwood. End of the road. Buchamp has retired from the Garuda team, so he's not got moving up. And Jar retires from the spot as well, so both of the Garuda drivers have retired as they're moving up to the next race series above. So the Garuda need two new drivers as they move up. And Jenny North has retired as well. So, what are our finances looking like? We've got 10 million in the bank. We've got 10 million put away, so we should have 20 million uh, to play around with for next year's car. We have a lot of sponsor slots empty now. And we'll sort those out on the next update, because the next update we're going to do. No, we're not going to do a race. We're just going to go through all the pre season stuff, building the new ship building the new car uh, I'm working that out and I think what I want to do is she's not improving much so we're gonna go ahead and try and get a new lead designer I'm not gonna replace him because of these two boosts which are more valuable than his star rating I think and we will solve the question of whether we want a pair driver next season or whether we're going to try and find someone to take that seat instead. So those are all questions that we're going to answer in the next uh, update. But anyway, this has been part 10 of this playthrough. The last race, finishing in 8th place. Uh, an achievement I didn't think we were going to... An achievement that I didn't think was going to happen. Um, earlier on because we were so far behind at the beginning of the season but luckily even though we've maintained having the worst car we've managed to pick up a few decent results maybe that's because of the reversals of the grid places but then again that should work its way out so yeah I'm very happy with that season yeah very happy and yeah that uh, that's it for this update then 
So until next time, we'll be doing the preseason uh, preseason update, and then we'll be on to the next season after that. So until next time, goodbye. Thank <music> you.